Angie says the last few Manzian white lions are in Manzia, so that's obviously where Dinkum is heading. Do you have any idea how much Spennington will pay me when I bring a Manzian white lion back for his zoo? We want to hear you roar! Roar! <laughs> Max, after her! Okay, how do we get past the guards and get in? That's what I've been trying to figure out. Where'd John get the van? Oh, they borrowed it from the cargo company that flew us home. John can't figure out a way to get us inside, so it's up to me. All right, guys, here's what I want you to do. Go right on in, you're just in time. Mr. Spendington's about to unveil the newest addition to a zoo. It's two male guests, two female guests. <laughs> baboon guests, three baboon get. <coughs> Baboons? They must have gotten out of the zoo somehow. Stop! Stop, baboons! <coughs> Look, the guard is leaving his post. This is our chance. Mr. Spendington, your zoo here is divine. I especially like those little bears with the black eyes. Oh, you mean my pandas. <laughs> Glad you like them, Mrs. Dumont. They're very rare and very expensive. She's all set, Mr. Spendington. Now, about my fee. Spendington, is this unveiling going to happen? I need to get back to the station. We can't keep the chief of police waiting. This way, Chief Wilson. Garfield, come join us. We want to go too. Yeah, we want to help Mom. Stay here, Odie. Guard them. Come on. I have no idea what to do. Sounds like a typical John plan to me. And as you know, I collect the most interesting animals from all around the world to share with my friend. My very rich friend. <laughs> with the help of famed trapper Dirk Dinkum here. Yeah! <laughs> I bring you direct from Africa, the rarest animal in the world, the Manzian White Lion. Oh. Huh? <laughs> this is the only one in the country, and I have her. Do what I do. That animal looks sad. Are you mistreating her? <laughs> You shouldn't mistreat animals. Yeah, we're decent people. We don't want any part of animal mistreatment. Why is that lion so sad? No, no, no. This lion is happy. Very happy. Here, I'll show you how happy she is. Sir, I, I wouldn't go in there with her. Keep your advice to yourself. You can see she's too depressed to do anything. Uh... She can't even move. Please, assure us this lovely creature is not suffering. No, no, she's fine, she's fine. Get up, get up. <laughs> she's very happy to be here. <laughs> you want a Manzi and White Lion, Mr. Spindington? I brought you the best one. My uncle bagged it, and now you can pay me for it instead of paying that ornery bloke. Buckley, you double-crosser! Garfield, that lion! It's King Royale! What? It's King Royale! Queen Tanya's husband! Father of the twins! The one the hunters took away? Someone, anyone, let me out of here! I told you my uncle had a white lion. But you didn't tell me you were right for once in your life. Guards, dig 
come! Please, somebody! Cat, please, let me out! There are switches over there! Switches that unlock the cages here! Throw the switch, Mark! Lion cage! Okay! And while I'm at it, I think I'll throw this switch, and this switch, and this switch, and this switch, and this switch. Costly animals that I paid so much for. Whoa! Whoa. Hey. I'm telling you guys, I don't have any more sandwiches for you. You work for me. Not anymore, mate. You fired me. Yeah? Well, I've got a good mind to hire you back. Just so I can fire you again. Whoa! You and I settle this later. Whatever you say, Dinkum. <laughs> let me out of here right now! No, leave him let here and let me out! out. Nice job, guys. What are the white lions doing? Reuniting. I want you to meet your son and daughter. My son. My daughter. Daddy! Daddy! <laughs> <laughs> Sit tight, folks. We're real close to a happy ending here. Get every man we can spare over here. We have dozens of animals to round up. Oh, and another thing. <laughs> Everyone be quiet. I'm chief of police and I'm going to get to the bottom of this. Remember back in Africa, you showed me that web page about the law against hunting these lions? Well, I've got it bookmarked. Call it up. We may need it. Who's responsible for this mess? Those people. They weren't invited. The trouble all started with them. <laughs> and that cat. That cat let all my expensive animals loose. Cat? Is that true? Yeah. I'm going to have to arrest you and your friends here. But you can't! Uh, let us explain. Before you do, Chief, maybe you'd be interested in, uh, this? Mr. Spendington, can you prove these Manzean white lions are yours? Absolutely. I'm buying the two big ones and those two little ones from these fine men here. Let me out of here right now! Because it says here that importing Manzi and white lions is illegal and that people involved in doing such things go to prison for many years. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> I called the cab and it's on its way. Are you sure you don't want me to drive you two to the airport? Thanks, John, but you deserve a rest. <laughs> right. I was just telling Liz here that as part of his probation, Mr. Spendington has agreed to make his private zoo public and to allow the Animal Rights Society to return the rarest ones to the wild. They're going to spend a long time where they tried to put the lions. 
Behind Bars. Speaking of which, King Royale, Queen Tanya, and the twins should already be back in Africa by now. Back in their natural habitat. And those baboons, too. Uh, you're a fine man, John Arbuckle. And you're lucky to have him. Uh, I think so, too. Most of the time. We got back three years ago. Three minutes ago. Like I said, three minutes ago. And already the lions are acting like everything is normal. Odie wants you to say hello to Prince and Princess. Better than that, we'll let you say it yourself. Hello, Mr. Garfield. Hello. We wanted to say, well, we wanted to say we're sorry. Mm -hmm. We think you really are a cat. A really good cat. Ah, oh, shucks. Well, you two are going to grow up to be pretty good cats yourselves. <laughs> you know, Odie, sometimes you go through a lot of misery. One picture comes along that makes it all worthwhile. Don't sit in a lonely room. <laughs> With fear and with doom and gloom The world can become your stage If you break out of your cage Life out in the wild The place for you and me Running merrily That's the way life should be Life out in the wild Go out and climb a tree Forget all misery that's the way life should be. Ah. Pies? Huh? This is a Western movie and they're throwing pies? Hey, I'm just the stage manager. The director wanted pies, so we got pies. Who's directing this thing? I demand to speak with him this instant. Director's coming to the stage! <laughs> Who ever heard of a Western with pies? Besides, pies aren't for throwing. Hey. Oh, hi, Normal. Pies are for eating. Huh? Where's this director? Oh, I'm here. Here I am making my first Western, and they probably got some kid out of film oh. school, someone who has no experience. Well, actually, Garfield, I can't I'm work here. like this. Where is that director? We've set up the next shot. Anytime you're ready. Uh -oh. <laughs> you. You're the director? Ooh. Yes, sir. Huh? We quit. Oh, wait, 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 
Wait, don't you even want to hear my fresh new concept for this movie? Does it involve the star milling his director to Abu Dhabi? I've been thinking. Westerns are kind of old-fashioned. That may be because they take place in the past, Nermal. <laughs> exactly. So I've decided to add in things that today's audiences want, like zombies. Where's my zombie? Huh? Zombie citizen, please. And ninja warriors. Where are my ninjas? Ninjas, please. <laughs> Aren't they great? You wouldn't believe how many ninjas I had to audition to find these. Normal. And making a deal? Do you know how hard it is to negotiate with ninja warriors? Their agent is a samurai. But they're worth it. These guys are utterly fearless. Okay, so they're afraid of zombies. But hey, who isn't? Garfield, huh? if you and Odie will be in my movie, I won't annoy you for... Twelve weeks. Eight weeks, including reruns. <laughs> well, Yay. we gotta go get into wardrobe. Uh, excuse me, do I have any actual dialogue in this film, or do I just go about? Um, uh, 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 like that? Uh, hey, listen, kid. If you don't like it, the industry's full of unemployed zombies. Is my rat with a guitar here yet? Uh huh. Tune up on Red and Rock. Okay, people, and those of you who aren't people, let's take it from the top. Legend of Glitter Gulch, scene one, take one. We have speed and action. Get yourself comfy as I tell a story about a city in total despair. It was a town with a pretty bad sheriff, utterly clueless to crime everywhere. Don't litter. Help! The mustache mob just robbed the bank! Help! The mustache mob just robbed the jewelry store! No chewing gum on the street. Huh? Help! The mustache mob just robbed the soft frozen yogurt shop! You have to listen to me. I'm the sheriff. I have a badge and everything. Boy, if I were the sheriff, I'd stop all this crime and lawlessness. So the town is gripped in a crime spree. Big, fat, hairy deal. Doesn't bother me. Hey! Leave a stash of mob! Hey, just hey. up my pizza! <laughs> <laughs> all right, now they've gone too far. All through the city, the people were angry. Someone, they said, had to capture that mob. They told the mayor to get a new lawman. He told the old one to find a new job. <laughs> oh, please, Master Mayor, don't fire me. I love being sheriff. I love wearing my little sheriff. Oh, please, please, give me another chance. We gave you another chance. Then give me another, another chance. Oh, please, please, that's all. Do your for. duty, Mayor. The mustache mob has now robbed eight banks, three jewelry stores, and that place on the corner that sells soft frozen yogurt. Hmm. I don't believe they've robbed any of your businesses yet, Doc Whipple. They will. <laughs> I'm the richest man in town. It's just a matter of time. Psst. You guys have an entrance coming up. Hmm. It's about time. <laughs> Sorry, Sheriff Gourmand. You're fired. I don't want to be fired. I've got just the men to replace him. A new sheriff and two deputies. Clyde! <laughs> this is Clyde. He and his men will make fine law enforcers. I'm sure they would, but I've already hired someone else. Arbuckle! <laughs> Howdy there, Mr. Mayor, sir. Oh. I sure am proud you picked me to be sheriff. I'll catch them good-for-nothing mustache mobsters. <laughs> I Let me introduce you to my deputies. Oh, deputies! Howdy, <laughs> hey. oh. partners. You're appointing a cat and a dog as deputies? You should hire my men here. 
calm down, Doc Whipple. I gave Arbuckle here the job. If he and his pets don't catch the mustache mob, well, then I'll give your guys a chance. We can practically guarantee they won't catch the mustache mob. Right, man? Oh, yeah, sure. Right. Thank you. Thank you. I'll show you around, Sheriff John. You're going to need the combination to the safe where we keep the files. We've got to get that new sheriff fired so you can replace him and I can get access to that safe. Why? What's in it? I'll tell you later. Right now, I want you to go out and make trouble. Oh, hey, you, Doc. Don't worry about We're it. Real We're good at that. that. <laughs> All right. Cue Arlene to enter. Ow. Hello, Garfield. Or should I say Deputy Garfield? Howdy, Miss Arlene. I brought you lunch. In fact, I made your favorite thing. You've always been right nice to me, Miss Arlene. Up the hillside, a stampede was starting more head of cattle than you ever see. <laughs> Nothing would stop them from reaching the village. Nothing except for obeying the law. Hey, by jingles, what's going on? What's that noise? Cattle stampede! Cattle stampede! ATM cards, or we have a stampede on our hands. Well, looky here, you're the sheriff, sheriff. Do something to stop them, well. <laughs> yeah. Stop them? Yeah. But how do I? Uh, stop? Uh, oh, oh. <laughs> sheriff John's about to get trampled. Not if I. the uh, line? Not if his faithful deputy is around. Not if his faithful deputy is around. <laughs> this is so awesome. <laughs> this is a left turn only lane. Remember when I decided we should go vegan? Yeah, I remember. Well, I've decided to forget about that. From now on, there will be meat in this house! <laughs> <laughs> Soon all the cattle had gone to the hillside, making wide turns at all hamburger stands. All the folks in the city were grateful. All but Doc Whipple, who scolded his hands. You incompetence! We've got to get that sheriff and deputy fired! <laughs> Uh. All right, get a good close-up of Whipple when he delivers his next line. Just so you can get into some safe in the sheriff's office. What's in there that's so all-fired important, Doc? A map. 
A map to a canyon where everything is gold. That map must be mine. That canyon must be mine. Perfect. All right. We're on break. Everybody take five. about as not cute as you can get. Normal, remind me again how much longer you're planning to overstay your welcome. I've told you like 11 times, Garfield. Well, tell me 12. <sighs> the cutest pet pageant finals are tonight at the town hall. I, of course, will win as I always do. I am, after all, the cutest creature in the universe as we know it. Which reminds me, if you're gonna look great, smell great. <sighs> Don't worry, Garf. After I win, I'll depart. <laughs> Eventually. In other news, a skunk was spotted downtown this morning, prompting the sheriff to lock down the area. A skunk? Ooh, in this town? Yucko. Skunks are mammals. They can create an unpleasant odor that clings to people or other animals. Ugh, I hate skunks. And I'm sure they're not wild about you either, Nermal. It's just that if a skunk were to spoil my delicate fur, I'd lose the cutest pet contest. <laughs> I would never survive such public humiliation. I'd have to leave town forever. Oh, I like the sound of that. Skunks are small, about the size of an average house cat. Each has a distinctive white stripe on its back. Hmm, size of a cat, striped down his back. <laughs> And now for the final touch. Voila! <laughs> now all I need is bad body odor. Woohoo! I'm in luck. It's trash day. That means the fullest, smelliest cans of the week. Observe my fine diving form. Cutting <laughs> fish. I'm off to a good start. Dirty socks. <laughs> Repulsive. Old eggshells and banana peels left over from my old series. Disgusting. Limburger cheese made during the Italian Renaissance. Wow, this really smells. And now, so do I. Watch as I get rid of the annoying one. Ugh, what is that awful smell? That would be moi. <laughs> I enjoyed that so much. Let's watch it again in slow motion. <laughs> oh, this is so good. <laughs> Relax, Odie. It's only me, Garf. I guess I better go wash off all this paint. Garfield, Odie, Normal, lunch is ready. <laughs> let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> Please don't come anywhere near me. I'll do whatever you want. Uh, here, you can have this. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that shower can wait. Let's see what else I can do with my newfound repulsive powers. See those two dogs? 
meanest in the neighborhood. Ordinarily, I'd see them and then I'd run the other way. But this time... <laughs> I'm beginning to enjoy stinking. A calzona for you, and rigatoni and clamsos for you. Oh, that's lovely. Ooh, Evito! Something wrong with your pizza, Mrs. Bartogalou? It stinks, and if it's not the pizza, where could that horrible stench come from? Maybe you put anchovies on it. <laughs> yeah, there's something to be said for bad hygiene. And we have reports of the skunks sighted all over the city. So many so that some fear there are now two skunks. Two? Oh. I can't worry about that now. I have to go get ready for the cutest pet contest tonight. He'll come along with me if you want to. The mayor has ordered all available forces to mobilize to find that... Oh, dear me, I... I think that skunk's around here someplace. Oh, this is great. I should have gone skunk years ago. Huh? Hey. Well, all right. Hold it right there, skunk. Put your hands up and don't try anything smelly. All this for a tiny little skunk? Like, really? I helped you out because I thought you were a fellow skunk, but I see... Yeah, just a cat with a bad paint job. But you don't smell bad at all. I thought... Forget that... everything you heard about skunks. We're actually quite clean and tidy. Want to know <laughs> our secret? <laughs> a perfume bottle? Yep. Eau de boutois. Every skunk carries one at all times. See, we can't defend ourselves against predators, so that stinky perfume keeps us safe. Ew, very nasty. <laughs> They're all gone now. You're safe to go. Wow, thanks. You saved me. Don't even mention it. At first, I thought it was kind of fun to scare people off, but after a while, isn't it a bit... Well, kind of lonely to be a skunk? It's all right. We skunks are pretty solitary creatures anyway. Oh. Oh, there's one thing I've always dreamt of doing, though. The cutest pet contest? I know, I know. Pathetic, right? <sighs> but it would be nice to be known for something other than my bad body odor. Hmm. I'll make you a deal. You help me get this paint off, and maybe I can make your dream come true. And now, people, the moment you've been waiting for. 
these are the three finalists in this year's <laughs> cutest pet competition! Oh. oh, just get on with it. Oh, just give me my trophy. We'll be announcing the winner right after this commercial. Don't go away. Oh, I have time to freshen up. <laughs> ah, there's where I left it. Oh, ah. Ooh. Back on stage. Well, time to win. Uh oh. Yucko. In a moment, I will open the envelope and read the decision of the judges as to which of these pets is truly the cutest of the cute. That winner embodies the spirit and the beauty and poise and and just being adorable and cute. And, oh, let's get this over with because I think I need a window and a gas mask. And the winner is... Ha. Not you! Not me? No, 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 no. Uh, take the knot out. <laughs> I, I, I don't understand. This vile, nasty smell can't possibly be coming from what? Secure! Ah. Get that smelly cat out of here! I... No, 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 no. You see, I'm the winner. I'm always the winner. It's my birthright. But just look at me. Can't you see? I'm the cutest pet in the whole wide world. <laughs> Protest! I demand a recount, and I demand a recount of the recount. Uh, are you sure about this? Sure, I'm sure. Okay, now the short one final, so you just get out there. But people always run away from me. Well, they won't this time. Go. A skunk! <laughs> As if it didn't smell bad enough in here. Watch. <laughs> Hey, he doesn't smell bad. In fact, he smells pretty good for a skunk. Well, since there are no other contestants left, I guess that this year's winner of the cutest pet contest is... <laughs> a skunk! Uh. <laughs> Hey, everyone feels like a skunk now and then. And sometimes, all you need to pass the smell test is a little perfume. 